now I'm like in a disco mood because I got my disco fit on. I love it. Hi internet friends, welcome to the vlog. I just got done filming one of my reels cause I'm, I'm in it man, I'm doing this. I am loving this outfit so much so that I kinda wanna wear these glasses out and about. They're scratched so I feel like they're more for show which really bumps me out which tells me I probably need to get another pair of these cause they are that good. I took these out to the desert with me one time and they just have never recovered. We are going to kick off this vlog with a good old fashioned thrift with me. Yeah, I'm just getting my stuff together. I wanna show you a quick OOTD. Got my express top on that I thrifted. These are the Levi's barrel crop and these are my seven or nine pants. For Pants. These are my seven or nine ballet flats. I also need to, I need to find a safety pin cause I do not, yeah, see this like comes undone so sticking easily and I just need to safety pin that into place so that I don't have any snafus while I'm out and about. So yeah, man, let's, let's get the show on the road. Let's go party. Can you guys tell I'm like in a disco mood because I got my disco fit on? I love it. just look like I got out of the shower and pulled my hair back. It just, it never fails. It never looks good. How do you do it? How? I can't figure it out. Anyways, OOTD, let's do this. Good morning. We're just gonna, we're gonna start the day off with thrifting and just a quick little get ready. Lately, I have been trying my best to let my hair air dry. So that is why I look like a mop right now. Merit sent me a couple more products to try out. So I'm going to use their blush and their lipstick today and see how I like it. Uh, the blush I've been using all week, but the lipstick I haven't given a try yet. So I am excited to test that out. I still to this day have no idea how the heck I got on their PR list. I like, it's still one of those like pinch me moments that I'm just like, what, what, what? really? You wanna work with me? I mean, most days I look like a goblin trying to do my makeup, so it's much appreciated either way. So this is the shade Beverly Hills from the Blush Balm line. Uh, I am very much a like more is more kind of person, so I just, oof, like I love blush. Blush is the only thing in my makeup routine that really gives me life because <laughs> I don't have, oh no, I don't want to use that, that's my bronzer. Um, I don't have a base tan, so I just always naturally look um, pale. Very, very pale. Um, so yeah, more is more to me. We're just gonna, we're gonna layer that bad boy on. It's very soft too. It almost has like a oily base to it, so it gives me a little bit of a glow, and I appreciate that. Do a little bit on my nose, on the bridge. Try and fake a, a little bit of color on my face. I also use their brow gel, volumizing pomade brow gel. And I swear by this too. It kind of gives me a little bit of a feathery finish and I appreciate that. Just gonna go in with a little bit of Laura Mercier powder. I actually don't wanna put this on my cheeks today cause I wanna keep that nice little healthy glow going on. Do a little bit in my under eyes and down the bridge of my nose because the bridge of my nose is probably the oiliest place on my face. <laughs> Beautiful. Anybody know what movie that's from? Too Wong Fu, Thanks for Everything, Julie Newmar. Easily one of my favorite movies growing up. 
I think it explains a lot about my personality, about how I got into fashion and just like over the top vintage clothing. If you haven't seen that movie, I can't recommend it enough. It is easily, yeah, it's just easily top five for me. Tu Wong Fu, thanks for everything, Julie Newmar. I quote that movie so much throughout my lifetime that it just, it, it, it's one of those things that just lives rent free in my head. Strawberries are red. Strawberries are red. It's just, it's so, it's a classic, okay? Absolute classic. Look at her vintage Miss Julie. Okay, uh, let's do, let's do my lips. I'm gonna go in with Pillow Talk from Charlotte Tilbury. I swear by this for my lip liner. So these are the two new pieces from Merit. So this is their signature lip in ginger, their lip gloss. This is tinted lip oil in jeté. So we're gonna layer these two pieces. I'm a big layering person with my lipstick, but I feel like this is very, this is very 90s. I'm so used to matte lipstick. That's what I've sworn by most of my adult life. Um, but I feel like this with lip gloss, that's like very, very 90s. Ooh, that's really pretty. The applicator kind of feels 90s-esque. Oh, it's good too. It's not like too much. It's not overbearing. Sometimes when you put on lip gloss, it just like, it feels like it just sits, like it globs up on your lips. This just kind of rolled over like an oil. I like her. Nice little uh, 90s glow. I appreciate it. Is it weird that I kind of want to do one more layer? Just one more, one more. That's how much I love blush. Listen, it's one of the only things that I can rely on to wake me up. Go, a little bit of natural light coming in, so we'll use that. But I think it, I think it turned out good. I like the lipstick too. I think it, um, yeah, it's very nice and shiny. For someone who wears matte lipstick most of the time, I think this looks good and it's comfortable. It's not like too overpowering. Um, it is very overcast outside, by the way, so <laughs> I don't know what to expect today. I just, you know, I never know during the summertime in Florida. You just never know. I think this might be my last thrift trip for the week. The thrift just hasn't been hitting that hard this week and sometimes that happens, you know? I am so determined to turn this vlog into a Disney and thrift. Those are my favorite ones to make. I just had the sweetest comment on my Instagram the other day about my Disney and thrift videos. I, I never know if I should like call someone out by name because some people probably don't want to be thrown out there on the internet. So you know who you are, but I always appreciate that because those are my, those are my favorite videos to make. To me, they're like a mini vacation. Like I get to do the best of both worlds. I get to go thrifting and do Disney. That's, that's a dream scenario for me. So anytime I can make that happen, I'm happy. It's downpoured though, literally every single day literally that literally went on for i also just have to say so in my old car this is a bit of a tangent but here we go in my old car i didn't have uh easily set up bluetooth like it would take me forever to pair my phone for bluetooth but now in this vehicle i can just automatically pair it does all the work for me moment i turn it on it just pairs with my phone it has legit been like a like a mental game changer I used to listen to the radio all the time, so I never really enjoyed my drives. But now I have my little, you know, like Amazon music just set up and ready to go. And I play some of the like just mm, best mood vibe type music. Anytime my parents get in the car, like if I'm driving, I'm like, you guys ready for a vibe? Cause it's gonna be a vibe. And I just turn on like the best hits. For instance, Portishead, been getting down to Portishead again. I used to listen to Portishead and Massive Attack on repeat, like in my youth. Sometimes I go on benders where I listen to Tool and Deftones over and over again. 
Uh, yeah, I, I don't know what it is, but sometimes you just gotta vibe and lately I have been vibing and it just puts you It puts you in such a good mood, you know, like you are ready to take on the world. You're like, let's go thrifting I would put together a playlist if my music was cohesive, but I am so all over the place I mean, I threw on Taylor Swift in the mix too. Probably no playlists for me, but man, I like I missed having this much control over my music. It just, it puts you in a good headspace. There's something to be said about jamming out in the car and then you're ready to go thrifting. So let's go thrifting, man. It started to absolutely downpour before I got in here. So I'm so glad that I walked in when I did because oh my goodness, wow. You know, I don't know how I feel about this top. It's equipment, which I haven't found equipment like this. I think this is their new label. I mean, old equipment was 100% silk. This is 100% polyester, which I'm kind of surprised. I don't know, I didn't realize they switched. That is really throwing me off. I don't know why they would work backwards. Like, that's the weirdest thing to me. So, I don't know, I think I'm gonna skip on this, but I was just so surprised when I found this. And then these are Uniqlo shorts that I already have in the same exact color, but I'm debating on if I need to because I don't know, man. I mean, you can't go wrong with Uniqlo shorts. Not really sure what I want to wear. So I'm thinking this because I'm going thrifting. I'm always like comfort over anything. So I'm going to try this on, see how it does. You know what? She's really cute, but I don't have any shoes that would look good with this. I feel like it needs heels and I refuse. I mean, refuse to wear high heels to the thrift store. Like this would look really good with like kitten heel, sling back, like that kind of vibe. But it just, I don't have any shoes right now that would be comfortable and would match this very well. So I think I'm gonna have to save this for another day. But she's cute. She's very safari-esque and I appreciate that. Okay, I think I found the winning combination. Uh, this is a Cause COS long sleeve shirt and some Banana Republic shorts that my mother so kindly added in an elastic waistband on and it fits me 10 times better. And then of course, classic Bavaya shoes. Okay, uh, let's, uh, let's get this show on the road. You're really not gonna believe this, but we're dealing with a flat tire today, so. <laughs> Yeah, between the rain and the flat tires, I think, I think I'm just meant to stay in today. Well, what a mildly unfortunate turn of events, uh, but sometimes you just gotta roll with the punches. I have a very small haul. I think the thrift gods were just like not in my favor this week and I really wasn't meant to find any insane home runs, but I, I still think I picked up some really good classic essential pieces. So the first piece is this Antonio Milani one shoulder dress, just beautiful drape on it that I'm so excited to get on. A perfect dress for the Florida heat. If you still wanna look timeless, classic, all those things, it just, it's so perfect. I cannot believe, I feel like Antonio Milani is just one of those brands that's so slept on. The other piece that I picked up was this necklace. It's just a little statement piece. I looked up a little bit more information on it. Like I did a Google lens search and it's really not anything special. I just really liked the um, chunkiness of it. Like I think it's a very noticeable piece. I think it would look better with maybe like a little bit lower of a V. So we're going into a little bit maximalist territory with this necklace, but yeah, I dig it. The information that I could find on it was like 90s era. So it really wouldn't surprise me if something like this was sold in like Claire's or something, but you know, now it's considered vintage. So there we have it. The next two pieces are about as Parisian as I could get. This is the brand AMI. Uh, hi, real quick, editing Laura here. Apparently it said Amy. It's not spelled, so it's not AMI, it's Amy. And I would kind of put this in line as like, a little bit like uh, Comme des Garcons, where there's very interesting pieces and then there's also just very basic pieces. The brand is known for their like embroidered little logo, the A. I'm thinking some dark wash denim and then the Zara trench coat and it's cropped. I don't know if anybody remembers, but I think a trend video a while back, I talked about cropped trench coats and how much they're just, they're trending at the moment. 
And I mean, this is an older Zara label. So this clearly tells me the age of the item is probably over 10 years old, I would imagine. So that's just one of those perfect examples of like everything, everything comes back around. You just really have to take the time to look, you know, and know what you're looking for. I don't think you can get much more Parisian than this. This is like the ultimate Parisian chic and I love it. I am, I am so here for this. This is very much a springtime outfit in most places, but in Florida, this might actually have to go in my to be worn at a later date category. But I think having a cropped trench coat in my arsenal is always a good idea. And I just, I love this t-shirt. It is, it's perfect. It's definitely a keeper. I think life just ended up lifing this week and everything got in the way of doing things that I was meant to do. Uh, yeah, flat tire, I have an appointment today to go get that replaced and then on top of that my tail light went out and it just seems like, you know, I just was meant to stay in and relax this week I think and show you guys some outfit inspiration and my makeup routine basically. I actually find so much joy in just doing like the day-to-day -day stuff and vlogging that. I find that's the easiest for me and the most relatable I guess. Never in a million years did I think my channel would kind of start to gravitate towards that because I started out as like strictly a vintage reseller channel and it's just kind of evolved from there and I've found joy in other places and I feel like my content just keeps like leaning towards that. So let me know down below how you guys feel about that. I love sharing Disney trips. I love sharing makeup, hair, all that kind of stuff. I've always kind of viewed YouTube as like a marathon, not a sprint kind of thing, especially if you want to go like long-term, like keep the keep the ball rolling as long as you possibly can. I think there's a, a good balance between that where I love putting out videos that provide value and maybe help teach someone like a different perspective on fashion or a different way to think about it. But I think sprinkling in those like day to day type videos is so important because unless you're trying to go the route of like just these amazing videos, it's just it's so hard to do so hard to do. So I feel like the channels that I admire and like look up to the most are the ones who kind of sprinkle in their like day to day routine and keep it I don't know, maybe keep it neutral would be the best way to describe it. So yeah, I feel like YouTube is more of a journey for me. So I guess my point is, when a flat tire happens, do you guys wanna know about it or could you care less? <laughs> That's basically what it boils down to. But I will always enjoy putting out videos that add value too at the same time. I think a, a happy balance of both is so important to find. With that being said, I think I'm gonna close out the vlog here because now I'm gonna go get my tire replaced and my taillight replaced and hopefully start the week fresh next week. <laughs> As always, thank you so much for watching. If you guys are new around here, might have a couple extra videos for you right here and right here. And next week, I'm determined. I am determined to go to Disney. We're gonna do all of it. Okay, thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.